Hello, we are team Brakum Mungalturi from Brak University, Bangladesh. We are delighted to welcome you to our SAF video of ERC 2021. Our team is composed of 40 undergraduate students and further subdivided into 9 sub-teams. These are Mechanical, Design, Electronics, Communication, Software, AI, Science, Management and Publication. We have designed and developed a new arm that can rotate 360 degrees with the help of a worm gear mechanism having 6 degrees of freedom. A modified rocker bogey suspension system for handling the extreme terrain, a powerful worm gear motor in the wheel which allows us to climb steep slopes and obstacles. The custom gripping system we have used will give extra traction on slippery terrain. Our stainless steel made chassis is powerful, lightweight, easily available and can be changed easily. For extreme retrieval, we have organized a mock setup with elementary objects like screwdrivers, pliers and toolbox. We have also attached rope on a toolbox placed on the ground to see how efficiently the rover can pull it. Moreover, we have implemented AI and trained deep learning models using NVIDIA's Jetson Nano to detect several objects like keyboard, hammer, screwdriver, etc. which further enhances our capability to find hidden objects efficiently during extreme retrieval and delivery tasks. Communication between the base and the rover is established using a 2.4 GHz rocket M2 paired with a directional antenna. The rover is installed with a bullet M2 paired with an omnidirectional antenna. Furthermore, the 2.4 GHz radio controller is used as a backup communication system. Along with IP cameras, a 5.8 GHz analog camera is also used. We have retained our electronic setup from 2020, which has allowed us the ease of installation of the circuit. This year, we have opted for lithium ion jump starter battery. We have developed autonomous navigation system using Raspberry Pi with GPS and 9-axis IMU sensor. Well-tuned PID algorithm has been implemented for smooth traversal through waypoints. This system is more versatile and customizable than our previous year's pixel based system to detect the air tags. We used Aruco library for OpenCV. RP LiDAR is used for detecting obstacles. Additionally, three indicator LEDs have been installed on the robot visible on the light for rover status. In this two-year cycle, we have experimented with two different science setups. We can test multiple samples using the same set of probes with the setup under development. To turn our rover into an automatic planet analyzer, we have designed the science payloads to collect environmental data, detect biosignature and water trace. An excavator claw is used to dig samples at depths of 20 cm. The sample is then poured into two separate boxes. One takes the sample and conducts phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen and amino acid tests. In the other box, water capillary test and biomass test is conducted. Both the boxes are capable of conducting multiple testing. Additionally, a sensor box equipped with various gas, light, UV, pressure and several other sensitivity sensors are used for detecting planetary conditions that gives real-time data through a customized tool. This year, we have implemented ROS and Python-based socket programming to control the rover. We have developed the new GUI which provides the rover smooth control and feedback. For equipment servicing, we have made a dummy setup where we practice tasks like pushing toggle switches, pulling drawers and pressing keyboards using a two-finger claw. Using the feedback actuators, we have implemented a visual real-time simulation of the arm using gazebo and RVs for the driver to control the arm more accurately. Due to pandemic, with less resources and time, we implemented Scrum methodology for project management instead of the conventional way. Additionally, we utilized the time at home by training the new recruits and taking different online workshops. <laughs> 